So we're looking at uh, discrete variables and then it, it can't take any value, okay? So example, a typical example is saying that um, you, you want to survey, but the variable you want to take is each household, the number of children in the household. So you can't expect somebody to say I have 6.6 .6 children, all right? So it means that uh, that variable is discrete, so you can't take any value at all. You can take whole numbers. So you can say I have zero, I have two, I have one, I have three, I have four, I have five. So it's some discrete values. You cannot take some interval or decimals. Okay, that is discrete. So for example, a household could have three children, not or six children, but not four point five three children. It 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 is never possible. Okay, continuous variables can take any value within the range of the scale. So for example, time to respond to a question are continuous variables since the scale is continuous and not made up of discrete steps. See, the response time could be 1.64 seconds. Somebody's height can be 5.5 feet. All right. Uh -huh. So that, 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 that is the difference. So you should take note of that. So questions to clarify understanding, that is variables. Which are the following uh, qualitative variables? So look, height, measure the number of feet. Okay, so number of feet. Remember somebody can have, okay, so what are you saying? Are you saying that uh, you have uh, five, you can only say two feet, three feet, four feet, six feet, seven feet, but some, so it's either you have 6.5 feet, you can get that, probably the next movement wasn't covered, it didn't cover everything, okay, mm -hmm. uh, uh, weight measured in number of kilograms, number of days, uh, it's note, number of days, so days cannot be 6.5 days, 1.5 days, so days is uh, discrete, okay, so this is discrete, so um, this is discrete, this is discrete, this is discrete, um, this is continuous and then this is also continuous hair color all right so oh, we made we made a slight mistake we're looking at uh, continuous and but here they are looking at uh, which of the following is qualitative variables okay qualitative variables so that's a slight mistake we made qualitative variables so for qualitative variables it means we we're looking at um, values that can't uh, they are just categories okay so uh, to talk about qualitative variables then we can only say that hair color is qualitative gender is qualitative average daily temperature no it's it's quantitative it's numbers numbers okay number of days is numbers it's not just categories uh, weight measured in its numbers so those ones are not so there are only two uh, hair color and then um, hair color and then the gender okay so we move on so answer is giving us four and five hair color and gender those are the uh, qualitative variables 
Now let's look in an experiment on the effect of sleep on memory. Effect of sleep on memory. The independent variable is independent variable. So we are looking at the effect of sleep on your memory. Okay. So you look at your memory is now depending on how sharp your memory will be. It's depending on the the number of hours you sleep, isn't it? Uh, so the independent variable will be the number of hours of sleep or says record score of a memory test gender of subject gender of the experiment so i think this is actually it's actually going to give you the number of sleeps because your memory your ability to record score test is dependent on the number of hours you sleep so you are using the effect of sleep on memory so that's your independent independent and the dependent is your memory your memory is dependent on uh, the number of sleep you will get okay so the answer is one okay all right so answer is one so here too which one is a dependent variable okay that's the score all right so a uh, record score on a memory test now the number of hours you sleep and then the, the, the memory so the results of your sleep is being able to record the tests and then do it well okay So that ends that section. Uh, we'll be looking at percentiles and then uh, we would would be fine. So before that, a quick recap. We talked about variables. We said variables they, they, they don't they change, they are not static, they are not constant, they vary from persons to persons, event to event, object to object. We say variables can be independent or dependent it can be qualitative or quantitative all right it can be discrete or continuous okay that is what we said variables can be all right variables can be so um, that's actually a quick recap okay all right So why percentiles? Why do we need percentiles? Since raw data is sometimes difficult to interpret by itself. For example, you pass a shyness test and your test score is 35 over 50. Is this good or bad result? Does this mean that you are shyer than most people? Okay, so you do that and then you get this value 35 by 50 is that is this a good or a bad result how do you do that okay how do you know that so percentile shows what proportion of score is higher than you score what proportion of scores is higher uh, than your score okay so if your shyness score is higher than 65 of the population then your score is a 50 65th percentile okay so if your shyness score is higher than 65 percent of the population so here there's an error it should be done okay there's an error here and make it uh, there's an error so percentile shows what proportion of your score is higher than your or what proportion of scores 
is higher than your score.